So you're planning on making some moves in 2022. In this video, I'm gonna show you two of the absolute best investments for 2022 for beginners. All right, so first I'm gonna talk about one of the most obvious investments for beginners, but I'm also gonna talk about some of the tips I have for you that aren't so obvious. And then finally, I'm gonna share with you the absolute best investment for a beginner that's changed my life in so many ways. All right, so investments will one day pay for our lifestyles. You know, I once heard that the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Well, what if you weren't around 20 years ago? What if you didn't have the seeds 20 years ago? The second best time is right now. So I like to look at investments as almost as planting a tree. You know, they say in real estate, we buy real estate and wait. So here's the thing though, we've got to get started right now. We have to take the, the daily actions, the steps right now to start winning. And that obvious first investment for a beginner is your own home or a primary residence. And you might be thinking, well, I've read the Robert Kiyosaki books, the rich dad, poor dad, all that stuff. And Robert Kiyosaki says, your home is not an investment. It's not an asset. It's a liability. And let me tell you why Robert says that. It's because liabilities take money out of our pocket. So if we have a home and we're the only one living in it and it's costing us money every single month, and it takes money out of your pocket. Absolutely, Robert is right, that is a liability. But how do we turn this home into an asset? Well, there's multiple ways you can do this. This is the part where I talked about not so obvious of renting out the rooms. Now, I'm not just gonna rent to any old buddy. Like, I wanna have like background checks and credit checks and all these things. I wanna rent to reputable people. And you might be thinking, well, I don't want roommates. They're so frustrating or they're dirty or whatever. Well, you wanna set rules up ahead of time to help mitigate these type of things like you have to pay a cleaning lady to come in once a week or everyone has to have their stuff out of the common area. You can live in your own bedroom however you like. But let me tell you the story of how I turned my home into an absolute asset back in 2013. So I'm being pulled out of Afghanistan on my second deployment and I'm now going to start army officer school. So I buy the property right next to the college and it's a three bedroom, two bath house. And I rented out two of the rooms. One of the rooms was rented out for $600 a month. The other one was rented out for $580 a month. So if you do the math for just for really easy math, so I'm making $1,180 a month gross. Well, my mortgage is a little bit less than a thousand a month. And then if you take the electric and the water and all that stuff, it, it was probably around $150 a month. So let's just say that my expenses were right at $1,000 a month and I'm making $1,180 a month. I'm technically making money every single month to live in this house. So now my house is an asset and not a liability. I'm also earning multiple other benefits from this as well. My Equity is going up every month with appreciation as the market goes up and sometimes the market goes down and that's fine. If you look at the 30 year average, it raises up 6% per year over the average. Next, my mortgage is paying down every single month and not by me, that would be a liability, but by my tenants, my residents or my roommates. So my roommates are paying down my mortgage every single month and that, that balance is going lower and lower. So I'm also building equity through pay down and not just appreciation. Next, I'm also getting tax benefits. So you wanna to talk to your CPA or your accountant about this, but my tax benefits are allowing me to pay less money in taxes. Let me get into some more not so obvious ways that you turn your number one first investment for a beginner into a major asset is, does this house have a garage? There are plenty of people out there that have $100,000, $200,000, $300,000, $400,000 cars that want to get them out of the elements. So your garage, you can rent out for, you know, at least $100 a month, right? So I could have rented out the garage. I chose not to for this particular situation because I was using the garage. Once again, that's a liability, but I could have rented out that garage for $100 a month. And here's, let me ask me how I knew that. I had an offer from someone, an actual student that was a friend of mine that did not have a garage at his house, but he wanted to store his Lambo in my garage for $100 a month. I almost allowed him to do it just because I thought it was cool and maybe I could test drive it a couple times, but I didn't because I had my own cool stuff in that garage, like people with Sea-Doo's or jet skis or a small boat. And I actually had an oversized garage that I could have allowed a, a decent sized boat. 
Another money-making source was I had a second driveway and the second driveway had electric hookup which an RV could park in it and I could have fit at least at a bare minimum a 30-foot RV into this one little spot and I could have charged around $200 a month. Ask me how I know this is because the neighbor down the street was doing the same exact thing. Now technically in neighborhoods you're not supposed to live out of the RV but no one said anything to my neighbor down the street. So I just told you two ways to make an extra $300 a month right there. And then finally, if you have garage spaces, I was paying $57 a month to be able to have a permit to park on the college campus because I was too lazy to walk. Well, there's a lot of people that they don't have the funds that I had. They weren't getting paid to live in their own home that didn't have that $57 a month and I could have charged, you know, $20 a month just for someone to park in my driveway. So $20 a month for one year, that is $240 a year. That's a pretty good night out on the town, right? All right, I have two other not so obvious ways to make this the absolute best investment for beginners for 2022. But before I do, smash that subscribe button. And if you don't, if you avoid smashing that subscribe button, you'll probably have spiders in your bed tonight when you go to sleep. All right, let's keep going. The next not so obvious way to make money on this investment is solar panels. Solar panels, especially in Florida right now, the power company will pay you exactly the same amount per kilowatt hour as what they charge you to buy it. So if you are making money from the sun and you've got a payment right now for these solar panels that are less than what your monthly payment would be for your power bill, you are already saving money. But let me show you the way to make money with that, and that is be very cautious about the electricity that you're burning. Like turn your air conditioner up to 82 when you're not home. Turn all the lights off. Don't waste electricity, and it's amazing what you make back on these properties. I'm actually doing this on multiple of my rental properties right now that are vacation rentals because the vacation rentals are only rented out during the weekend for this one particular spot. So Monday through Friday, I'm making money Saturday and Sunday when they drop the air conditioner down to 65 degrees on a 105 degree day, that solar money is taken care of of that power bill. So technically, I am a reverse power bill. So rather than where I used to pay a couple hundred dollars a month, I'm now getting paid a couple hundred dollars a month just by having solar panels. So it's a really cool thing. So that's another not so obvious. The final not so obvious way to turn this into the best investment for 2022 for a beginner is by the equity buildup that you're building up in this property. The mortgage pay down, the appreciation, that allows you to pull out a home equity line of credit on this property. And even if it's an investment property, a lot of credit unions will allow a home equity line of credit. One that I use is Space Coast Credit Union in Florida. They allow you to pull out a home equity line of credit. And a lot of times the introductory rate is extremely low on this money, sometimes two, 3% interest where you can go ahead and buy the, the next investment that I'm about to talk to you about for beginners in 2022, and that is dirt, buy dirt. So here's the thing, if you take $10,000 from your line of credit and you're only paying 2% for this money from your line of credit, and you're buying a piece of land worth 30,000, so literally 33 cents on the dollar, and you might be asking, Brent, why would anybody ever sell a piece of land that's worth 30,000 for 10,000? And I'll tell you, there are pawn shops all over the United States where people take Rolexes in and they take guns in, they take their wife's jewelry in and pawn this stuff for 10 cents on the dollar. I don't know why people do what they do, but sometimes it's motivation, sometimes it's convenience, sometimes it's for speed. It's like that old collectible car that's been sitting in the garage for 20 years collecting dust and every time you walk by you stub your your knee on it and someone one day sends you a letter saying hey i'd like to buy that car from you if you're looking for a no hassle fair price offer call me or text me and that's exactly what we do with landowners that are motivated to sell this land they could be behind on their taxes they can be inherited land you name it and that is buying dirt so let's go back to our example of me buying the land the $10,000 parcel of land that's worth $30,000. I'm borrowing money from my home equity line of credit that I built up in my, my first investment for 2022 as a beginner, and that's my house. I'm borrowing $10,000 at 2% interest, and I'm gonna buy that $30,000 parcel of land, and I'm gonna sell that $30,000 parcel of land to Bob the buyer that's wanted to own land his entire life, but he didn't know how to. But he saw my ad on Craigslist, and my ad on Craigslist says, 
$225 a month, $30,000 down, 12% interest. So I'm doing a positive form of arbitrage here. Basically, I'm trading 2% interest on 10 grand for 12% interest on 30 grand. So if, I'm not gonna break down those numbers, but you can, you can go to like mortgagecalculator.com or calculator.net and put that in there. You can figure out what the payment's gonna be for $10,000 at 2% and what the payment is gonna to be to you for $30,000 at 12%. And you'll see the monthly income that you're gonna gain every single month. And you might say, well, Brent, he's eventually gonna pay it off, right? Well, nothing stops you from doing this over and over and over again. Let's just say Bob the buyer puts $10,000 down on this land. You get your money back and you can rinse and repeat. So those are two of the best investments for 2022 for beginners. And you might be thinking, well, how in the world do I buy dirt? Like I need a step-by-step -step process. And I do this every single day on this YouTube channel. So if you didn't subscribe, go ahead and do it now. Again, don't forget those spiders I talked about. Hit that subscribe button. And if you want to find out more about this, if you want me to hold your hand during this process, I want you to go right now to thelandsharks.com. That's thelandsharks.com. Fill out the application, schedule a call. And if we like what you have to say, we might invite you to be a rhino.